Hey guys, welcome to Yana Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today we're gonna do my empties. Uh, it has been a little while. Um, I think my last empties was in May, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I can't remember when that was. But anyway, look, I am using so many products all at once that I'm not really finishing anything, you know, really. So um, I think my next video, my next MDs is probably going to have like a, a shit ton of things because, you know. Anyway, look, if you want to see what I've been loving and hating and what I've used up in the last month or two, stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Look, I'm going to do my utmost best to make sure that we get through these products and that you're not sitting here forever. Anything that I talk about, um, I'm going to try and uh, put down below like whether I liked it, whether I didn't like it, um, or anything like that. And um, yeah, let's just get started. So the first thing that I've got is this big ass tub of Dove Triple Moisturizing Nourishing Body Wash. I love this. This You're probably going to find this in every single empties video. Um, we just buy this from like Chemist Warehouse or you know a drugstore or something like that when it's on special. I think we pay like maybe eight to ten dollars for a litre and um, absolutely love it. It doesn't affect my eczema. It smells nice. It's easy. It lathers well. So I absolutely love this. I definitely will buy that one again. Moving on, I have a mask. I have the Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Sheet Mask. I've actually done a review on this and I will leave that up in the links for you guys to see. And if I can remember, I'll leave it down below as well. Um, I really did enjoy this. I think it was a little bit different. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't want to dis ruin it too much for you guys, but it is 100% vegan, which is a bonus in my book. And um, I brought these on, like you buy three and... Uh, for a special price so there's a few of them so I've got another couple of videos coming up with two other ones that you guys haven't seen yet but I did enjoy this and um, I probably would buy it again I think if I recall the only thing that I really didn't like about this was the scent I half expected it to be citrusy I don't know why but I did so anyway go and check that video out if you want the next product that I have for you is this simple skin Sensitive Skin Experts Kinda Skin Soothing Facial Toner. It's 100% alcohol free, which is fantastic for somebody like me who has dry skin. Um, I love this stuff. I just pour this into a little mini spray bottle and I spray it on a cotton pad or directly onto my face. And then I use a cotton pad to wipe it off and I absolutely love this. I, I really do want to go out and get that Pixi Glow um, toner. So that's... That's what I would like to buy next. It's just that the price of that, comparison to the price of this, mm, maybe I'll buy the little travel one first, check it out, see if I like it, and whether money really does, you know, whether it does take effect. Because I do like this, I really do, but I've had nothing to compare it against. So, yes, I would buy this again. I probably will buy this again, but I definitely want to try that Pixie Glow Tonic, or even the Milky, um, the Milky one. So yeah, one of those. Want to try them, but I do like this, guys. Next item is huh, Simple Skin Sensitive Skin Experts Water Boost 5 Minute Reset Hydrogel Mask. I originally brought this because it was a 5 minute mask and I thought beauty I don't have a lot of time just to sort of sit down and chill and I thought if my skin's having one of those days where it's really really dry and I have something special on and I want my makeup to look snatched I thought well I can slip this on give it some instant um, moisturization plumpingness and everything like that and then you know take her off five minutes later put my usual um, daily routine moisturizers and serums on and then go in with my uh, makeup you know and and, <sighs> and although I do uh, like the fact that it's five minutes I did have some issues with this I wouldn't go out and rebuy it again. It was a little bit inconvenient for me. I did also make a video on this. If you guys want to see it, it'll be up there somewhere. Um, yeah, I think they need to. I think they do need to simplify the packaging just a little bit. To be honest with you, so go check out the review. And the next thing that I have is this Revlon Be Fabulous Daily Care Fine Hair Lightweight Shampoo. It says cream, um, but it's got a dot in between every letter. So I. I don't know whether that stands for something, but this is not a cream. This is like a gel. And um, I had mixed feelings about this. When I was using it, I hated the fragrance. It's kind of like, um, 
it's a strong perfume sort of smell and I just I just didn't do it for me and um, when I was using it it felt like that it was stripping my hair of everything and my hair felt really like straw like and then you know even when it was still wet but then when it dried um, I don't know the next day I guess once my natural sort of oils came back into my hair my hair was fabulous so um, well be fabulous um so though i don't like the initial application the way that this feels the way that this smells i do like the effect that it has on my hair the next day so um they've got some other ones out there that i would really be interested in trying but i really don't like the scent of this and it's not something that i would go out and buy um i really do like the shampoo and conditioners that i am using at the moment which is the hask one um but yeah it's nice but i just i hate the scent so moving on Another product I have is the Pantene Foam Conditioner Repair and Protect. 100% conditioning with 0% weight. I brought this because my hair does not like conditioner. Um, I currently use a, um, a Hask oil that I massage just into the tips of my hair and it's perfect. But if I put like a, um, a conditioner in my hair, like a cream conditioner or anything like that in my hair, it really weighs it down. It looks greasy all the time. And I thought this would be nice. But to be honest with you, it's really inconvenient when you I, I haven't used it all but um and I don't even know if I should but when you pump it out it's it's this this let me see if I can show you it's this foam as you can see and it's fun and it's different but I don't know it's just it smells nice and you sort of just like pat it through your hands and then run it through your hair but to be honest with you I didn't like it. I didn't like what it did. In fact, I don't even feel like it actually did anything. And now I need to go and clean this off. So just give me a minute. So yeah, um, it didn't do anything for me. For a product that I believe is supposed to be for like um, people who have fine hair and stuff like that, um, it didn't. It didn't work for me. So I mean, I'm not 100% sure if it's for someone with fine hair but I was just really hoping that it would work for me because conditioners didn't and um, with the 0% weight I just thought it'll be nice and although it doesn't have any weight when you foam it up on your hands it still weighed my hair down when I used it so I don't like that um it doesn't work for me that doesn't mean to say it won't work for you but I won't re I won't repurchase that one moving on I have the ordinary hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5 um all right so in my quest for skincare, I was trying to find a serum that was affordable, um, that, you know, I really liked, that actually did something for me. And I ended up getting the Buffet Serum, and I used that, and I loved that. But it's $24 or $25, um, and it's never on special. And although that might not seem like a lot of money for you guys to be spending on a serum, for me it is, especially when The Ordinary has other serums around about the $12 mark. And this is one of the ones that's around about the $12 mark, so I thought, you know what, I'll pick myself up the hyaluronic acid one because a lot of people were bragging about it, and I thought, why not? Um, and while I think it's good, it's not enough for me. We're in winter at the moment, and um, well, actually, we're almost about to come out of winter, so the Maggies are starting to stalk us already. Um, there's going to be some swooping soon. But um, this just doesn't do enough for me. I still found that um, when I use the Buffet Serum and my Clinique Moisturizer, my eczema on my face is just gone. There's no sign of it whatsoever. And I've never had anything like that before. So um, when I used this, and I was using it for two weeks, because you've got to at least give it usually two to four weeks for something to really work when it comes to skincare. Um, I saw results with the Buffet Serum in, within two weeks. It was probably about a week and a half. Whereas this, three weeks later, it still just wasn't giving me enough and my eczema was coming back and I just, I was flaky and I thought, ah. Oh. So I think that this would probably be better for somebody who has normal skin, who's still looking for something, um, you know, like a serum or something like that. But this one just didn't work for me. So this one's just going to be a big no for me. The next one that I have is an empty of the <laughs> the Ordinary Buffet Serum and I just pretty much explained everything to you there. I love this stuff. I love it. The other thing that I did want to mention is the Hyaluronic Acid one is definitely a lot runnier. So like when I was trying to put it um, the dropper on my face, it was actually coming out of the dropper, uh, running out of the dropper, whereas this one here, it doesn't drop until you actually squeeze it on your face. Um, so this one is definitely the uh, easier one to use and personally for me, the most effective. Moving on from that, I have my Dove Original Deodorant. I swear by this stuff. I sweat like a man. I, I, I shit you not, I do. Um, oh gosh, summer, autumn, winter, spring. This is my saviour. However, I was watching 
Haley's videos, um, her empties, and there was one deodorant that always kept on popping up in her empties and it got me curious. So I'm actually going to do an honourable mention here because I did go out and buy it despite spending, I think I got it on special, but I spent $10 on this Rexona Clinical Protection Summer Strength, three times uh, stronger, 96 hour anti antiperspirant deodorant cream stick thing. It's the weirdest thing. Um, and I love this. This is weird for me. I don't like rubbing a cream. In fact, I, I, I get icky vibes. I really do like just get a bit of a spray going with my day. And it, I haven't tried this in summer yet, but I am noticing that when I'm using this in the morning, um, you know, in the evening when I would normally still be sweating or I have sweat during the day, I would normally start to smell a little bit of my BO coming through with this, nothing really extreme. But with this, I'm still smelling the deodorant. I'm like, hey, maybe we're onto something here. So I really do like this, and I do like this. So this one's definitely going to stay as my staple. I'm always going to purchase this. But um, I've picked this one up too, and I'm really enjoying this one. So yes and yes. The next thing that I have is another Dove deodorant, I'll just pass on that, is the, and I don't remember whether I've actually spoken about this one in my last uh, videos or not, because it was back in my makeup stash and I have no idea why and I hate it. But yes, I hate it with a passion. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. Um, I've said plenty of times that this, I don't know what it does, I've got a hair in my mouth. Hang on. I don't know why, but this wrinkles up my eyelid. Like, it's, it's like I put it on and then it's like super glue and makes all these weird old lady wrinkles in my eyelid and it ages me by like 30 years. I hate this stuff. And um, I've got nothing good to say about this. So <laughs> let's move on. Um, I have... Patchology Eye Gels. Uh, I've ripped off the top of it. Let me see if I can find... No. Okay. So these is a green packet of rejuvenating eye gels. Um, I loved these. I really, really do it. And I haven't brought any more since, but I want to. And I can't remember why I haven't. Maybe it's the price. I'm not sure. But these are absolutely fantastic. I love them. So, yes. I would buy these again. I probably wouldn't buy them unless they're on special, though. I like everything to be on special. I'm a bit of a tight ass, so... Moving on, I have this. Now, I didn't use this, but my son did, and he hates it. This is the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Acne with Salicylic Acid Detoxifying Charcoal Mask. What is with these long names? Just call it what it is. It's a charcoal mask. Um, he took it out of the pack, and it felt like hardened clay, um, like really, really hard clay. And then when he finally did warm it up in his fingers, it was everywhere and he had trouble wiping it across his face and he hated everything about this. So um, I can't tell you myself whether I like this because I don't have that kind of skin where I need to use something like this, but he hated it. So I won't be buying this for him again. But if you've got any more recommendations, he's got some serious acne on his forehead and he's on my back about doing something about it. And I've never, I've never experienced acne like that, you know, a little bit of menstrual acne, but he's got it bad and um, I need to help him and I don't know how. So please guys, if you've got any suggestions, drop me a line below. So. The next product is the, what are you? Who are you from? White Glow Activated Charcoal Whitening Toothpaste Deep Stain Remover. This is just a little sample I got in a Bella box. I love this. Um, I, I was expecting it to be more charcoal-y, but it's not. Like, it doesn't make your mouth black. It's, it's kind of like a grey colour. It's got a little bit of charcoal in it, but nothing really extreme. So I liked the fact that it was mild and I enjoyed it. So there's not really a lot that I can say about this other than the fact that I liked it. And um, it was on special. I'd probably buy it again. So, hmm. The next thing I have is this QV Intensive Moisturising Cleanser. Um, just a little sample. It's nothing like, oh my god, wow. But um, if you've got sensitive skin and you need a cream cleanser, this works. This is nice. I would buy it again if I needed a cream cleanser, but I use an oil mm. cleanser. I absolutely love my oil cleanser. Oil cleanser. So, yeah, I'd buy it again, but I'm not in a rush to. I also have these two samples. It's a shampoo and conditioner by Oribe. Gold Lust Restore and Repair Shampoo. 
I didn't like these. Um, I hated the smell, I hated the feel, I didn't like anything about it. These were samples that I got with an order from... I don't know. <laughs> anyway, eh, I wouldn't buy those again. And the last thing that I have is the Nature's Common Sense Natural Pore Pore Body Wash with Vitamin E. And um, I don't hate this, but I definitely wouldn't repurchase it again. It does have the pore pore scent, but it's more like a muted pore pore mixed with milk. Like it's that really milky... It was just, uh, and it didn't lather up the way that I like my um, body washes to lather up. It's just, it just, yeah, it's not my fave. So, um, although it's, it feels nice, it's just not my favourite. So, I definitely won't be purchasing that one again. And, um, yeah, that's everything that I've got in my empties this month. I don't know when I'm going to be able to do another empties video, guys, because I have no idea how long it's going to take me to fill it up again but if you like what you saw guys go ahead feel free give me a thumbs up I would love it um, help me out a lot and um, if you're not part of the family already I would love to have yours and um, yeah go ahead hit that subscribe button but don't forget to check the bell it will notify you every time that I upload a video which is generally one or two times a fortnight at the moment so bear with me I've got a lot of content that I want to pump out and um, yeah I really enjoy talking to you guys so hit me a line down below let me know what you think of any of these products if you use any of these products if you have any sort of like uh, recommendations of products especially with something to help with my son's acne would be perfect and he'll love you for it too and um yeah i look forward to seeing you guys in my next video bye